The three voltages of a three-phase system can be used to create a rotating voltage space vector. This is done by placing three or better six coils at an angle of 120 degrees in a circle while feeding them with those three voltages. The sum of all three voltages creates a rotating voltage vector of a constant length. What else can be done with those three voltages? The simplest case is to use them twice. Instead of distributing the three faces over an angle of 360 degrees, which is one full turn of the voltage space vector per mains voltage period, the three faces are placed over a total of only 180 degrees. Since the three voltages have already been used in the upper half of the machine, we simply use them a second time for the lower half. Instead of having three voltage paths, we have six now. Because of that double usage, we get two voltage vectors. What is apparent at first sight? The vectors rotate slower now, half as fast to be exact. In other words, while the voltage vector has done a full turn for a two-pole machine, as it is shown left, it now does only half turn during the same period of time. We say the mechanical speed and the electrical speed differ now. The electrical speed is still 3600 cycles per minute, while the mechanical speed is half, at 1800 cycles per minute. What seems also striking, the voltage vectors are shown angled. We'll talk about that later. No doubt, the multiple usage of the three voltages cannot only be done twice, but also threefold, fourfold, and so forth. In that way, not only four pole machines are realized, but also six pole, eight pole, 16 pole machines with three, four, or eight voltage vectors. Especially in hydroelectric power plants, we see a very high number of poles, because in that way it is possible to feed electric energy despite a slowly rotating generator directly in the 60 Hz grid. One question remains though. Is it true that the voltage vectors are angled? Of course not. The voltage vector is created by rotating magnetic flux vector, which results from the three-phase voltages according to Faraday's law. Flux vectors, if they are more than one, do not run through the middle of the machine. Instead, they use the shortest way possible. In that way, the middle part of the machine, the axis, is free of flux and does not need to contain material with a high permeance for magnetic reasons. That means we can design the middle of the machine from a non-magnetical perspective, using materials out of mechanical or thermal considerations. For the magnetic flux there needs to be just a sensibly broad path with low reluctance in order to keep the magnetomotive force small and with it the magnetizing current. I hope you enjoyed the video. More is on its way. See you next time.